Well, hello. Okay, so today I'll be doing some tarot based on the beginning of fall. And early September is fall to me. So we're bringing in the fall vibes. We're bringing in the witchy vibes. Technically, they're here all year, but stronger now. <laughs> hear what we need to hear, make sure we understand what we're hearing, make sure it's guided by our higher selves and heights. Life path. Protect us. Think swords coming out for protection. Okay, <clears throat> collective reading for fall. What do we need to hear? You're being quiet today, Jeff. This is usually my my no bullshit deck. It it was. Oh, it was the loudest one of my collection that seemed like I wanted to say something today. No. Oh. That was a whole chunk. Very dramatic. That was very dramatic of you. Okay. Uh, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot, Deck. Uh, okay. They're like all in reverse except for one. Oh, except for two. Okay, this is my dramatic deck, so, you know, it's been a while, I'm sure it has lots to say. Okay, <clears throat> here is the collective reading for this week. Hello, welcome! I'm just starting the collective reading, and once I pull out all the cards I just flipped out, nope, that's not one. I will get started. This, okay. And this would be mine is not mine. Here, I'm gonna for all the cards that are reversed, I'm gonna put them down like this, because this is reversed. And then we also have this is eight of wands. Wands also reversed. And then the ten, the, the, ten, the king of pentacles, also reversed. Then we have the sword of truth. We have the ace of swords. It is upright, which is good. And then this is summer music, but we're gonna power through. Um, and then we have the devil, but it's reversed. Um. So possibly, I think my, my description, if... So first I'm going to do a collective reading, and I might start doing uh, three card pulls, um, which, you know, if it resonates, send me a, send me a copy. Um, you know, one of the little tip things. Anyway. Um, so, possibly, but let me, let me do the collective first. So... <clears throat> And for all you know, maybe the collective will resonate with you, because we do have the Two of Cups out, so... Alright, let's see what these cards are saying. It's a little dramatic. Um, so both this one and this one in the, in the wild unknown have lightning bolts striking in both of these. So I take that as, you know quick moving truth that might not be easy to hear um or maybe it's coming too fast like it's i don't know it's information that's shocking um and it might be a bit difficult whether it's good news or not or information you've actually been wanting it might be intense um see with the nine of cups reverse and the king of 
Pentacles reverse. It's it's a feeling of not what you want. It's a feeling of like a, a lack of control, a lack of abundance, a lack of what you want. So it's kind of like, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. Um, hmm. And with the two of cups, it might not be, hmm, might be very emotional. It doesn't always have to be romantic. It could just be like, you're gonna get information from someone. Maybe it'll be a love offer from someone that you're not expecting, that you think is not it. Hmm. Maybe. Or, because with the devil, but the devil's reversed. Hmm. Interesting. This could honestly mean a bunch of things, which if it's a collective reading, let's go. So, it could mean, if it resonates with you, that someone, someone who you're not into might come with, might come up to you with a love offer this fall season. Hey, um, that's just a little one. Uh, it could also be, I'm thinking a, maybe a, for a bigger, a bigger group, it would be more some kind of a truth, but is it you saying it or someone else saying it? Or something, I don't know, that feels productive. That feels hmm, like like it, it doesn't have to do with who's saying what. It's kind of like a dual effort of a truth coming out. You're both unhappy about it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out. Here, deck, can you clear it up for me? Can you, can you clear this up for me? I was kind of just wanted- I wanted to know what the vibes were for this fall, so... The vibes are dramatic truths coming out. <laughs> Maybe it's just shocking. Maybe it's just quick pace and you're like, whoa, crazy. Maybe you weren't expecting it. Like, you were- you were kind of expecting things to not go your way. And that's what was keeping you trapped. You were expecting the truth to be horrible. But that's just the trick. Can I get some clarity, please? Ooh, ooh, that one, that one. <laughs> I'd, I'd put no force in that and it flew out. That's crazy. Okay. The world. That almost explains it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's study this. The world. It came out upright, so that's that's nice. So it's a good... Whatever happens, it's definitely a good thing. It helps you work through something, complete a cycle, blah, blah, blah. Helps you... It, it helps something go full circle. It helps move something along. It's definitely posi positive. It's definitely movement that needs to happen. Um, so if it's something stressful, just be like, this is necessary. It's, you know... This is happening because it has to. It's There's no... You know, it's just... Take the L. Take the L. If there's an L. I don't know if there's an L. Um... Divinely choreographed. And if it's so divinely choreographed, then there's kind of nothing to worry about except for just feeling the emotions that come from it. So... I mean, I, I obviously hope it's good news, but I mean, everyone, I don't know. Not everyone can get good news, like, why not? <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know. Is that it for the collective feed? Did I say anything useful? I don't know. Let's move on to the next deck. Uh, Spirit Allies by Jill Pyle and Sydney. I don't wanna... Bukert? I wanna say it's a CH, but shirt doesn't sound right. But Kurt. Backert? Could be Backert. That's probably it. Bakert. Okay. So now this deck I don't have on this website, but I will 
describe it best I can. So this Spirit Allies deck is a Oracle deck. And it has spirit guides of deity. It has deities, it has animals, it has plants. It has certain entities of our world that help give us guidance. So, deck what spirit ally could help us here in this meeting? What spirit ally would like to have? something to say. What, what spirit ally has something to say about all this? Would you like to contribute? So two of them came out. We have Isis and the plant named Kraton? 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 Alright, so Isis. I am attuned to the cycles of life. Okay, so it, it is about being aware of the cycle that's coming through and completing. Um, necessary truths. Necessary truths. I feel like you're expecting it to be horrible. Alright, let's see what she says. Ancient Egyptian goddess of healing and magic, uh, known to, as a great mother and protector of the dead. Uh, let's see, priestess. Her crown, eventually her crown changed to that of cow horns, surrounding a solar disc which emphasized her maternal role and divinity. Eating foods that are in season, rising with the sun, and using dim light at night are only a few ways that you can get in touch with your instinctive patterns. I'm just jumping around and reading some. Um, while the cycles of, of life include the flow of life and death, there are also the cycles of the moon and the change of the seasons. So, we're welcoming the new season. He's like, yeah, new season, new... New season, new truths, new, um... Okay, and so she comes with this plant that might help. I surrender all burdens is the little phrase next to it. Okay, so Kratom, K-R-A-T-O-M, uh, found in areas of Southeast Asia, the Kratom, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. The Kratom plant can be found towering overhead Usage of its dark leaves can be traced back to ancient times as a remedy to alleviate pain in the body. Um, okay. Be chill. Uh, it, it brings you clarity to see the root of your challenge. Hmm. As uncomfortable as it may be, it's always, uh, your, uh la, la, la. it's always to your benefit to do whatever is necessary to conquer your shadows and blockages hidden within them. Let your tensions rise up to be nurtured and healed. Okay, so there's definitely a tension. Bo both of those words. A space tension and attention. A tension needs your attention. Um, for your ascension, sorry. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so there's going to be a tension starting. And it could have to do with your love life. A truth in your love life. A truth when it comes to how you connect with people. Um, that under underneath it all, it's reversed these energies. Which, you know, devil reversed is actually kind of a good thing. Um, okay. Because upright is you're trapped. You think you're trapped. But upside down is... What is the devil upside down? It's always, it's such a contradictory card already, that upside down, it's the contrary to the contrary, and... <sighs> um... Frustrating. I mean, it just, it just looks all frustrating. <laughs> um, and don't ignore that. Like, if you feel 
distressed, frustrated, things are moving too fast, I don't have any control here, I, this isn't what I wanted, blah 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 blah. Look at that. You know, pay attention to that. This is, that's part of the journey. This stressful situation where you feel like this isn't where I'm supposed to be going, that feeling is a part of this. So, it is where you're supposed to be going. It's just confusing as hell. It's the devil card spinning round and round. Run round, but... Yeah. So if you feel tension during the start of this fall season, that's okay. It's part of it. It's part of it. Uh, yeah. So now is the portion where I move on to... Um, the people. Hello. Okay. Um, so unless... Okay, okay. Um, unless people have specific questions, I'm gonna do three card pulls. Um, and you know, if it resonates, it resonates. I'm gonna try and do specific little readings. Um, and of course, if if you have a question you want to ask, I can do a three card pull. And you know, my tip jar is one of the links down below. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will also be posting this on the YouTubes for... Just so it doesn't disappear uh, from Twitch, because it will. But I'll post it somewhere. So I'm going to post these later if anybody wants to see it again. Or, you know, whatever. Timeless readings. Timeless little readings. Um... I'm gonna try and channel small messages until I get tired of it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's enough description for that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So if anybody had a specific question that they wanted three cards pulled, um, now's the time. Or else I will imagine a person um, ideally a future watcher of this video, what they might be asking. So, um, I did just get done with a collective reading, uh, which, once I upload it, you can go back and rewatch. Um, but yeah, I'm now I'm moving on to more specific messages. Which, if you don't have any question, I'll just start channeling, and you you can take it as a general read if you want to. So it kind of depends on the vibe, depends on where you're at, depends on where uh, you're at. Okay. Spirit, what? What needs to come through? It's a message that needs to come through. Somebody needs to come Somebody need to come through. Okay, I'll move on to another. So what is this? It's a final message that this deck needs to say to someone. What do you need to say? Three cards only. Cards on specific messages someone needs to. cards that came out. This is a special reading for someone out there who has a 
be pushed, I don't know. Or they just need to hear something. No. I'm getting the feeling that they're not expecting to ask it. Like they're not running around trying to find the answer. It's just something they need to hear. Um Like I feel like they want to be quiet about it. Like they don't want it. They don't want people to know that they're dealing with this. Or not that they are specifically keeping it a secret, just they're like, oh, I need to bring that up. I don't need to talk about that. Um, but if you've been, you know, if you're like, well, you know, if there's a message that wants to reach me, then I'll hear it. Here it is. Um, we have the Ten of Wands. This isn't, this isn't organized, but I found it. Ten of Wands. Wands. Reversed. Keep that in mind. And then we have the one, two, three, four, five of swords. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it like so loud. And the Empress is interesting. Okay. So Ten of Wands is reversed, so that's why it's down here. I can't I can't put them upside down, which is silly. Anyway, um, so, let's see, hmm, hmm, essentially, the, I feel like this is more confirmation than anything, because that's why, there was no rush for, I need an answer, it was more like, something's bumming me out, and, ugh, why? But I don't need to know why, but like, um, I'm asking why. You're not asking why, but I am. Uh, because it's all about alleviating pain, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, Empress. Receiving energy, which is where this person is at. I'm going to pretend I'm talking to them. This is where you're at. Empress energy. Um, <laughs> it's very calm it's very would be a good thing but you've essentially had to do a five of swords scenario where you had to be like bro i'm i'm chilling like i'm i had to be the empress in this scenario whether you actually had to do something like put your foot down or you had to say no to someone or you just didn't do something i don't know but you're you're in your empress energy where you're like that's not I- this is what I'm gonna do, okay? And then everyone was like, okay, bye then. Um... <laughs> and now you're sad about it, because that's a bummer. I mean, it, it is a bummer. And even if you're not, you know, if you're like, no, it doesn't bother me. It does, and that's okay. You're a person. Um... <laughs> I guess this is confirmation that you made the right choice, you know? It- Those people would have been the Ten of Wands to you, and you saw that. And the Empress doesn't- The Empress doesn't- This is not the Empress. The Empress don't do this. So, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so you're fine. Um, and it's- It's painful. It's tough. Like, with the, the deck I'm using, the Empress is like the beautiful tree with the moon in the background. It's a very beautiful card. And then the rest of them with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands, it's just dark, gray, worms, swords, sharpness. It just, it feels painful. It feels like a thorn in the side. And so, you know, it's confirmation. You have a thorn in your side. Um, so it'll, it'll be a little bummer for a while. But it's fine. Like, this is this is confirmation that you're fine. Um, that you made the right choice. So. You're fine. <laughs> is, that, is that it? Is that all? Don't, don't try and pick up those wands. You know? Don't be like, oh, well, well maybe I should do- no. No, you, you don't have to do that. It won't really make a difference. <laughs> um... It, it just, it won't make a difference. Um, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I 
because it's reversed. Hmm. Maybe reversed. It could be you. You're you're burnt out. You know, you could. You already did the work, and now you're burnt out, and you're like, okay, I'm done, and you're done, and that's okay. You know, you should. You need your. You need your empress energy. You need to. Trust what your decision you made. You need to stand by what you want to be and who you want to be. So, yeah. Cool. Yay. Empress Energy. Alright. Oh, thank you. And do I go? I don't know. I- I hope- I hope it helps. Ooh. Hope it helps. And I'll do another one. Oh, I was gonna do another deck. Okay, new deck. New deck. Grab it. So, this is the Modern Witch deck. Modern Witch. I haven't used this deck in a little while. Let's wake her up. Another little three card pull for the next, I don't know, next group, next person, next message that needs to come through. It's the next message that needs to come through. What's specific? Are those three cards? No, those are four. So I need to put them back. <laughs> three cards only. card in mind when I do review, but we'll keep these three cards. Okay. <clears throat> First message from this deck is for all our prices. It's easy for my brain. Nine of Swords. I mean, this very simply could be put as you're losing sleep over work. <laughs> very easily. If that resonates, um, if that resonates, uh, sorry. Is there any way to help you? Let me think. <laughs> hmm. I feel like if that is the case, it's not, um, it's not, uh, I mean, it could be stress, 
but it actually just feels more like when you go to bed you you keep thinking like oh oh i need to do that i need to remember to do that and then it's kind of like you just you're just in the zone constantly so you're just like ready to go and you're just like i need to go to sleep so that i can do it but i i keep thinking of other things to do um So it's not like stress, like, oh, I hate my job. It's more like you, you're you super into it. And you keep thinking of what to do next. Um, and that's good. Just, you know, maybe if that keeps happening, bullet point your thoughts. And then tell your brain, okay, I have it. And then go to sleep. You know? Because, like, if, if your brain is jumping around with ideas, I, I get that. I understand that completely. Like, there are times where I'm in bed, and then I get this idea, and I'm like... I'm not sleeping, and I just I get to work. Um, but if that keeps happening, you you really need to go to sleep. <laughs> you really need to sleep. So just jot down bullet points before going to sleep, and hopefully that'll help. Um, uh, I'm getting this 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 image with the moon. With the moon, it's two women walking around at night. It's Maybe when you can't sleep, you get up and walk. Like, you go for walks. <sighs> like, if you're super feeling like a walk, then sure, but... Sometimes just laying in bed and trying to relax can be restful. Like, it still can be good for you. Because if you're just, I can't sleep, so I'll walk around. Then you just, you don't get any rest whatsoever. So you definitely need to sleep. Because you have a human brain that just, I don't, know, I don't know, we just need to sleep. Help, help process ideas better that way. You know, if you sleep, it helps your brain process your ideas better. And I'm talking like through dreams and stuff. So, dreaming and sleeping is necessary. If if you have a job to do, sleep is part of that job. You should, you should think of it that way. Um... So that's that's kind of that's part of it. Hmm. Nine of Swords. It doesn't feel super distressed. Like it doesn't feel like that person's crying. It feels more like a, you know, like a. Gotta get up. Gotta get. Gotta get. So, like the hustle is real, and you're on it. But dreaming and sleeping is a part of that hustle. You know, you hustle in, in your dreams. You know, take a take an actual sleep. Take a nap. I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like it's saying slow down. Like, it feels like if you have a schedule and you're like, I gotta do this, do this, you can do it. You you can do this. Um, sleep is necessary work. Like, I feel like you have to convince your mind of that. The sleep is the necessary work. And then you'll be golden. Because it all works together, it all forms together. If you get your rest and your process and your rest and your process yeah because this doesn't seem like burnout it doesn't seem like you're close to burnout you just need to organize your thoughts and you'll be golden cool so 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 hope that resonated with someone You're doing good. <laughs> doing good work. Alright. Okay, I am stuck. That one... Seeing someone do good work is making me sleepy. <laughs> um, but after this, I'm gonna probably play... Roller Skate. Anyway. Um, okay. Thank you, Deck. You wanna do one more deck? Maybe. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, this next reading. If you have a question on your mind, this could be for you. Because I feel like this next one is someone actually looking for an answer for something. Um, they have a question, but what? Okay, this next question. Okay. Little reading number three. What's next question? Okay, all right. This one tried to come out earlier, but I'm like, no. And it came out again, so fine. Part of it. Part of it. <sighs> oh, that's so confusing. Okay, that's- this reading is throwing me off. <laughs> so I only have two cards down, but like... Whenever I put a card down, it's like, is this is this right? Is 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 this is this right? Like, I do understand that feeling. It doesn't feel like it's particularly me, though. Um, it feels like the energy is very much uh, back and forth, very unsure, very well. Okay, well, wait. If this if this, well, then what is that? But wait, wait. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, what do I do with this? What do I? And I keep smelling. It's so weird. I get like this very faint smell of like cooked food. Like maybe it's meat. Maybe it's. I don't know why someone would be making a bagel right now, but it kind of smells like a bagel. And then when I try to smell it, I just smell my candles. So I don't know what that's about. Anyway, um... <laughs> and I don't think anyone's making a bagel right now. Sounds. I don't know what I'm smelling. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Alright. I need to- I need to channel the energy, not take it. The energy feels very... My energy. A lot of these cards have, like, orange in them, and that feels like... You know, loud, bright... Orangey colors and... Bright, sudden smells that are just out of grasp. It's like... Let's take a breath. <laughs> Let's get one more card for this reading. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I feel like whoever this person is that has a question, they're really expecting it to be dramatic. Like, they're really expecting the cards to be like... Death, tower, and swords, you know? Um... Like, they're- they're... Maybe they're nervous about it. Maybe they're just new to tarot and they're just like, oh, it's bad, isn't it? If this happens, it's, you know, it's very... I wouldn't say paranoid. Like, if they're not... They're not just a nervous person. It feels like this situation maybe makes them nervous? I don't know. Or maybe they are a nervous person, but they're handling it pretty well. Like, they're... Whatever the situation... <sighs> I don't know, it feels like they get really confused and then they give up, maybe? <laughs> okay, these are the cards that came out. We got the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, interesting. These are all positive cards, you know, usually, and in this context, seems very positive like a card's meaning uh can depend on what other cards are around it and this seems a very giving and warm energy um hmm. would be 
money choice you're asking about. Maybe someone's asking for money and you're like, should I give them money? Is that is that a good thing? I don't I don't know. Is that a bad thing? Is that giving too much? Is that giving too little? Is it is it wrong of me to say no? Is it right of me to say no? Gifts. Giving. Motherly energy. Hmm. These two ladies are very powerful. Very... Very strong in their kingdoms. Very... Respected. And a gift. Hmm. I'm kind of getting that a gift is only seen as such a gift if it's given by someone that's so well respected. Mm -hmm. Like if someone doesn't respect somebody, then that gift isn't really a gift. It's seen as something else. Or as not the gift it's supposed to be. But when someone... When you look up to someone, you respect someone, and that someone feels so inclined to give to you, that's like, oh man, that mean that means so much. Hmm. Does this person respect you? It doesn't have to be money, but giving to someone. Does this person respect you? Because that that's what needs to be. Are you treated like a queen? <laughs> or are you trying to give to a queen? Does this queen respect you? Does this queen see you as another queen? Are you- are these two of you? Are these one of you's this person, one- the other one's this person? Doesn't- you don't have to be female or male. Doesn't matter at all. Um... It's like, this is the fiery person, very jovial, very social, very, like, ah, this queen is sick, we love this queen, she, she's loving, she's fiery, she, um, she defends her people, and is very fun, and still scary, I mean, she, she controls fire. <laughs> um, and then we have the queen of coins, she's more methodical, graceful. And, you know, that's scary. That's intimidating in its own way. Very giving, very loving, very... I mean, they're all, you know, all of them. Loving is always a positive thing. Um, she has a lot to give. And she gives to those who deserve it. So maybe... Maybe these are both you, maybe these are both that person, maybe one is you and one is that person. And as long as there's respect, ideally mutually, um, whoever's giving the gift, if you're respected, then the gift will be taken seriously. Um, or should be taken seriously. If they don't take it seriously, that's a sign and by you know um and if you're the person who's respecting someone and wants to give someone a gift they have to respect you too <laughs> uh so something about that i feel like i just said that i don't know did i just say the same thing everyone must be respected and if they're just asking for money because they expect it from you? No. No, no, no. Um. It's earned. Respect is earned. Love is freely given. And love does not equate money. You can love someone and they only exist in your thoughts, you know? So, I think that's what you're confusing. You're confusing gifts and money with 
love, maybe. If if that's something that's stressing you out. Um, cause it's not the same. Just cause someone you love is asking for money doesn't mean you have to give it to them. I de I don't know what situation it is. But you have to also respect yourself. Respect your boundaries. And if they don't respect that, then that's not- Then they don't respect, you know? And that's- Because giving someone a gift or giving money- Whatever, giving anything is an exchange of energy. And- Um. And if it's not taken- Like, if they don't take the respect that you're giving them, like, they're not reciprocating it, that causes a turmoil in some way. It's, um- they have to know what they're receiving, they have to appreciate it, and be grateful in order for it to be received properly. It's not even just, like, about just giving, it's about them being able to receive it. And if they just receive the cash and are like, sick, thanks, and then don't give a shit about you, then that's not... That's not a proper exchange of energy. So you have to make sure that they respect you. But how do you do that? Um, I guess you just kind of know. <laughs> if you're like, do they respect me? Oh. Then you should really talk to them more because I, I don't know how you wouldn't know at this point. I don't know. Like, if you don't know, that's maybe take that as a sign and just, just hang out with them. See how they talk to you. And if they keep trying to pick a fight, that's, uh, it's a bad sign. It's a bad sign. It's a bad sign. Hmm. It's difficult. And if for whatever reason you do end up- Even if you're like, okay, look, they're- they're not the best, but, like, they- they need- like, they need- they need this, and I'm the only one that can. You know, if that's the case, like, if that's ultimately the thing, then what was stressing you out is kind of like, what is this? Is this good? Is this? You just have to feel secure in yourself. Whatever you choose to do, you have to know what you are. You have to know that you are of the queen status here. Man or woman doesn't matter. You have to know that you're up here being the gracious one. And if they don't treat that well, you can say, this is the last time. I'm not bleep kidding um cuz you know it you can you can do that it is within your boundary to do so um that's your call you can you can say last chance this is it bye or no more chances that was it last time was the last time your call it's your gift to give as long as you respect yourself, it doesn't matter what this person does or thinks. As long as you know that, it kind of doesn't matter what you do, as long as you feel secure. That's the only shakiness I was feeling. Like, once you feel secure in yourself, it doesn't really- you kind of see how it- you know, either they'll change or they won't. Of course, it, this situation could not be as dire as that. Maybe you're just like, should I give this person a gift? I don't know. Am I that close to them? I don't know. Yeah, just depends. You don't have to, if you don't want to. But if it makes you feel powerful to do so, then go ahead. Um, yeah. Yay. Hope that... I hope that resonated with somebody out there. Now this might- this might be very specific then. Cause I- I got this feeling that it's particularly for a masculine energy. Of course you don't have to be male. 
but just someone who identifies as a quote-unquote masculine ruling person, which if you know what that means, then great. If you don't, um, like yin yang, think about yin yang. Uh, you lean more towards yang energy, <laughs> which Google, please can you save time for me. Thank you, Google, masculine energy. Anyway, chances are you know what that means. Um, so I'm getting a message for a masculine energy. I'm like, do, do you have a question? Is are you gonna ask something? <laughs> mm. Feels like he's whispering it. Like, like he's whispering a question, maybe. Like he's just kind of like, oh, yeah, I kind of have a question, but he's <laughs> just not asking it. Bro, come on. Sorry, don't mean to say bro. I call people bro. It's not if you identify as male or not. It doesn't matter. But if you're masculine. Alright. Okay, uh okay, so masculine energy. So these are the cards that came out. We have the lovers. Chariot. And the Four of Swords. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I do feel like with it being a masculine energy, I'm with the with the past couple of years, more masculine leaning people have been, you know, spiritually awakening, and it is like the feminine energy is the they're the more whimsical side, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, that get into the spiritual stuff sooner, usually just, you know, at the society, whatever, you know, witches, blah blah blah. Um Versus wizards, you know, you only see in fantasy movies, right? But, um... But, uh... What was I saying? Oh, um, it is... As more... Masculine-leaning people join in... What, what pulls a lot of people into tarot is asking questions about the future, and particularly love life, which is why the lovers came out. Um, so this could be a masculine energy asking about... I feel like that's what he didn't want to ask about. <laughs> like, like, the Four of Swords, like, no, I don't want to know about that. But it's like, it all ties in together. Um, because it's... It really feels, because this, I, as, as, a, as a person who has friends, who are male, I'm, this is probably a male person, i am be honest. Um, they're, they're often very like, so what's next? And it's like, okay, let's, where should I go next? Let's get a little bit more specific, shouldn't we? Um, let's talk about the thing you don't want to talk about, yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, what's the thing you're losing sleep over, you know? What's the thing that makes you feel a little dead inside, you know? Let's talk about that. I know it's tough. I know it's difficult, but 
that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here for the difficult stuff to make it easier. And by make it easier, I don't mean take away from the severity of it. I mean make you realize that this is within your capability of going through, surviving, figuring out, um, controlling your path in this. When I say you have control here, you absolutely always have control over your decisions. Um, and even if there's energies that are pulling you back and forth, you're the one that's at the helm, you know? So this card, the chariot, it's it's about two energies pulling you this way, pulling you that way. It could be about confusion, depending on what the cards are around it. It can be about not knowing where to go, about too much going on, overwhelm, not having no control. And I think that's my, maybe what you're afraid of. They don't have any control. Um, but you do. Because <laughs> uh, if you control both of them, then you have a straight shot forward. Uh, but you need to control both sides of yourself. The yin and the yang. So if you're you're a masculine, if it really does seem like you're a masculine, you're new to this stuff, you know, you're like, what what is, I already know it's real because I'm here and I found my way here, so so heck, you know, guess it's real. <laughs> yes. So uh welcome to the spiritual community. Uh work on both your feminine and masculine energies. And I don't mean be more like a woman. Um, I mean balance what in your gut instinct and in what your intuition in your um in the strange things that don't always make grounded sense you kind of still have to pay attention to those things you can't just go ah that's weird i don't get it you know you just have to go i don't get it and that's okay the unknown is a part of this the unknown is a part of reality and that's confusing and i understand um Imagine being a feminine. Anyway, <laughs> kidding. Uh, well, I, maybe it'll help, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so you kind of have to work with that part of yourself because there's an unknown, quote unquote, part of yourself that's like, it's not that scary. Like, it, it seems scary because it's supposed to be because you have an animal brain and what you can't see is scary. It, it's a whole thing. And so you just kind of have to realize... The unknown is not the enemy. Things that you don't understand is not bad. <laughs> um, that's like the beginning. That's the start of this. Uh, of like, it's it's about learning your shadow side. You have to find out your shadow side, and sometimes how to find your shadow side and become friends with it. Essentially, is what you want to do in order to have control over yourself. Um, you need to... There's many ways. Um, many ways to do that. I think maybe the most... The easiest and understandable way to do this is a very grounded way, which is therapy. And I realize that's a triggering word, but don't think of it that way. Think of it just as sorting out your brain and having someone help you do that in a very grounded, in a very real, in a very 3D way to do that. That would be the easiest way. However, money, social circles, or just not having a therapist available. Um, there's many ways, uh, but you just need to have a lot of patience with yourself. And ideally, friends you can trust, friends you can talk to, which can't always have that, can't always trust on other people, and I get that. So if you're solo on this, solo on this journey, that's okay. Many people are. Um... So one way to do it is just think about what upsets you and then ask why. Uh, you know, that's that's the, that's the start. And then also with this person, it's... So in my deck, it's someone laying in bed uh, with like their hand on their face. Um, and this looks like a, you know, a dead person, right? Like it's a casket or whatever. Kind of dramatic, but... Think of it more like asleep, dreaming, you know, analyzing dreams. It's good. It's also a good way to start. It's, um, 
you just you just want to get in contact with the deep parts of your mind that maybe you haven't accessed in years you know like childhood stuff trauma you know why you react certain ways and sometimes you'll find yourself continuing a pattern and then you'll go you know why did i do that i guess it was because that one time this happened and now i just i'm constantly afraid that this will happen again and then that's it like that's that's the whole thing like you realize this huge fear and why you avoided this thing for years was because that one time and that's normal <laughs> people do that and then you can realize oh one it never happened again and two i doubt it would uh because i know how to avoid it now and if that were to happen i know how to deal with that now so so in a way that could never happen again um huh and then all you have to do is deal with the nerves that come with doing the thing you were afraid of. And that's it, just the nerves. There's no actual danger. Anyway, that's just dealing with... That's dealing with your shadow. That's what people have been talking about. Deal with your shadow. Find out your shadow. So once you do that and you can balance that out within yourself, you know, with enough issues, you'll be able to see the patterns in yourself, see the patterns in other people, and navigate. You'll be able to navigate through what you want and what you don't want, and particularly the kind of relationships you do want. Friendships. This doesn't have to be love, romantic. It can be friends. It can be contracts. It can be business partners. A partner in some way it doesn't have to be romantic. Um, but divinely put together partners um, are only ever put together when, you know, spirit knows it's time. When the angels know it's time. When your guides are like, okay, they're ready for this. And they'll throw you something to see how you deal with it, to see if it works, you know, whatever. It's... It's kind of confusing, because it's not... It's also not guaranteed, like, I feel happy about myself, and then the next person that comes along is, is the person you've been wanting. It's... It's a constant journey, and then you kind of, you know you're there when you're already there. It's confusing, and you need to be okay with that. You need to be okay with the unknown. And that's tough as heck. It goes against our animal brains 100%. It's okay to be crying your eyes out as you're walking through the dark as long as you're walking, you know? Um... <laughs> It's gonna be okay. Uh, it's funny, in, in this chariot card that I have in my deck, the Modern Witch deck, it's, um... She's on a motorcycle with the two sphinxes uh, in front of her, and the motorcycle has a light. So I think you have a light now. Like, you, you were stumbling in the dark, just terrified for a while, but now you have a light. Now you can see a little better. You're still in the unknown, but now you realize it's not that bad out here, you know? It's not that bad. In fact, it's necessary. In fact, it's everything. In fact, it's good. Good can be scary. Good is scary. We're not trained to be happy, so it's scary when it happens. <laughs> and that's so fucked up. Anyway, uh, you're not alone, even if you physically are. You never are. And, you know, if you know, spirit guides, if you believe in that, yet. Um, you're not alone in this journey. You can't see, doesn't mean you aren't alone. Because you're gonna be able to see soon. You'll, your, your other senses will wake up, you know? You know, as, as, um, I'll, I'll just, I'll finish with saying this, is, um, as we all have spirit guides, I do believe we all have spirit guides, um, when it comes to spiritual stuff and like you know, seeing ghosts and you know seeing seeing the other whatever, uh, your guides will protect you. If something is scary, just say, "Oh no no no, I'm not ready for this." Uh huh. That's cool. That's cool. I'm I'm not ready to see that. Your spirit guides will be like, "I, you can't see anything." That's why a lot of people can't see ghosts because freak freak them out. <laughs> um, it took me a long time to train myself to even see the small things I see now. Like, it's... <sighs> I get scared easily, too. <laughs> so it's fine. Anyway. 
uh, hopefully, hopefully somebody who needs to hear that hears that. I think that was important for somebody out there. I know there's, I know there's at least, I'm sure there's tons. I'm sure there's tons of people who are spirit being, be, 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 who are spiritually awakening right now who are like, what the heck is going on? Um, so hopefully that was helpful to somebody someday. I'll be posting this uh, as soon as I am done with the stream, essentially. Okay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> That's it for the reading. Uh, I don't know when I'll be doing another one, but I, I will. I hope this was helpful for just someone out there. Have a good one. You're not alone. Be good. Be good to yourself. Be good to yourself, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, be good to yourself. Okay, love and night.